to do lots of fancy camera angles and loud pumping music an engine still looks like a hunk of metal not very inspiring well one hunk of metal may be changing all that not because of the way it looks but because of what it does well this is a thorpe it's a simple little aircraft but obviously what really matters is the engine and this one can be a little bit exciting When you get in your car, most people don't give a damn what's under the hood. Most of us just want to press the accelerator and turn the steering wheel knowing that, well, something under there is doing its job as efficiently and as cheaply as possible. So why should flying be any different? Why, for example, should you pay more for fuel when you don't have to? While most planes run on Avgas, which is basically a miles more expensive version of the stuff you put in your car, this plane doesn't. It'd be nice to say that this was a plane simply running on a battery that I plugged in at home last night, but as you can probably tell by the noise around me, it's not. So what is it running on? Well, this plane's basically running on diesel, Jet A1 to be precise, and yes, that is what you bung in regular jets. Aha, I hear you say, but diesel is still more expensive than normal car gas. Well, yes, but it's still cheaper than the stuff that most planes run on. And it's more widely available. And you get rid of some of the fiddly bits like the mixture and the car peep. Easier and cheaper. We asked one diesel engine developer to explain. What we're developing here is a lightweight, supercharged, turbocharged diesel engine with IDI combustion system. OK, um, what does that mean? So what that means is it's cheaper to fly, easy to install, simple to operate and ideal for all light aircraft. Where's the mixture? Don't need one, it's a diesel. Right, no mixture. What about car heat? Don't need that either. OK, so how do I start it? We put in the stop control. Turn the key and go. So diesel's cheaper and it's easier to use, but does it work? Now the boffins amongst you are probably saying that diesel weighs more than Avgas. Yes, it does. But it costs so much less, you can fly further for your money. Climb bloodily higher and higher, we're above the clouds now, but we've not lost any of the engine power. So why does it seem to be so much better? Most of the current fleet are all running 1930s technology. What we wanted to do was bring things forward into the 21st century uh, with a new engine burning jet fuel and using modern technologies. Top of the world. Wow. Amazing. It's lovely up here. Apparently I've got control of the aircraft. You ready for this? OK, Martin is trying to sell us his engine, but again, diesel may be a heavier fuel, but modern design has made these engines so efficient they actually drink less than most current petrol engines. Come on, you can make it a bit more. <laughs> Fact, they reckon in this thought you can get your fuel bill down to about 10 British pounds per hour. That's about 13 euros or 20 dollars. So it's cheaper, it's easier to use, there's a lot around, and that means one important thing less time worrying about what's under the hood. You've got to wonder why more planes don't have engines like these. Fantastic.